Because this is my call in the dunya. This is my call in the world. This has been my call in the world to talk and speak about things that I see that I know are wrong, that I know there's injustices in, and it's my word, it's my job to voice it. I greet you all with the same greetings of peace that have been used from all the prophets from Adam to Muhammad. The greeting in Arabic, Assalamu Alaikum. For those of you that don't understand what it means, simply Arabic for peace be upon you. Now, I made a short video earlier, but that's not the uh, true topic that I wanted to hit today. A few years back, I made a video about uni unity in Islam and how we have a huge division, a huge separation right now in Islam because we have so many masjids, so many mosques spread out all around the world. Here in my area in florida we have so many mosques it's unbelievable yani masha allah yani it's a large community however each mosque seems to close to itself now there's mosques that are part of a bigger organization like the islamic society of central florida then you have you know ico then you have you know etc cetera, etc cetera. So they have their own societies and then they stick within their own societies. This has to be broken. This has to stop. Masjid or masjid, we need to keep all of our masjid tied together. Why don't we make one huge organization? One huge organization. And I understand, Yanni, between different states and different everything, I mean, it's, it's a lot. But why don't we do, you know, the, 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 the Islamic Society of Florida, Islamic Society of Georgia, Islamic Society of, you know, so each one, because there are policies, there are political aspects that do lead in each state. And each religious entity, whether it's Islamic, Jewish, whatever, they have to abide by those entities. So we should be, you know, Sticking here, but not only sticking to Florida or Georgia or Alabama or New York or California. We need to group together. We need to join together. We need to have, you know, a bigger organization, the Islamic Society of the United States. Because we need to become grouped. We don't need, you know, Syrian mosques. We don't need Pakistani mosques. We don't need Palestinian mosques or Moroccan mosques or anything like this. We need Muslim mosques. And one of my comments before that I had was, oh, but it's okay to have these different... Yes, absolutely, because there are places where people live that there is higher saturation of one people versus the other people. But remember, Islam says, oh, mankind, we have divided you into nations and tribes so you can get to know each other. By creating us from a single pair. So, what we need to do is we need to do that. We need to make the mosques a more, how should I say, a more gathered experience. More of an ummah. Because you have one imam of an organization. Then you have another imam of an organization. And each one has their own opinion or their own idea. And a lot of people may not agree with this one imam. A lot of people may not agree with this other imam. And these have to stop because these are personal opinions from each one of the imam. And I honestly think that what should happen is imams should join together and discuss different aspects that are happening in community. Muslims need to get more involved in the community. You know, I was thinking one thing, you know, that Muslims could do is a lot of people forget about is there's a lot of Muslims that are incarcerated. There are a lot of Muslims incarcerated. Yes, some have converted while in prison. Some people went to prison as Muslim. They may have done something stupid. They may have done something, you know, just foolish, whatever it may have been. But... You know, stuff Allah is between them and Allah. And if they repent, 
then alhamdulillah. So we must stand together for all of these. We must unite in Islam. We can't continue to go on having different issues between different masjid, between different people. We can't have people saying this and people saying that. Because there might be a political thing that happens and you have this one imam that stands up and speaks. But he's not speaking for the whole ummah. He's speaking for himself. He's speaking for what he wants to say. And I've heard plenty of times imams say things like, well, like, well what? What? What are you saying? We have to stop this. We have to unite. We have to come together. Please learn how to unite. The youth, I'm speaking to the youth, and the youth says there's a lot of misunity or non-unity within the commun communities, and it's absolutely true. Absolutely, 100% true. I spoke about this years ago, and I'm speaking about it again, and I'm going to continue to speak about this in a lot of videos. And yes, as you guys saw in a lot of my older videos, I was very passionate you know, about how I spoke, and I'm going to become passionate like that again. Reason being is because the passive talking yeah it's good but the emotional talking subhanallah what the emotional talking does it gets the message through it gets the message through we have a deen that we must follow and we can't separate it between masjid we can't have and I, wallah, wallah, wallahi i've seen in different masjids how people pray and they follow different hadith you know, they pray the basic ways, you know, what we've learned, what we know from the Quran, what we know. But then they do some extra things that aren't necessary for the prayer. We've seen some other things happen in different masjid, what they do, what they say, what they, you know, you have some radical, you know, imams who don't need to be there. There's no radicalism in Islam. No radicalism. Okay, and, and I must, must say that, because when you have an imam speaking about radicalism, that is not right. In my youth, you know, I, I, I was doing YouTube videos, but then I stepped away, and astaghfirullah, shame on me, I should have kept doing them, you know, but now I'm going to be doing them, I'm going to continue to do them, because this is my call in the dunya. This is my call in the world. This has been my call in the world to talk and speak about things that I see that I know are wrong, that I know there's injustices in, and it's my word, it's my job to voice it. It is my, my job to voice this to anybody who can hear it. Now, whether I say something right or wrong against Islam, because I'm no scholar and I'm no Hafiz, but I know Islam, I've studied Islam, I've read the Quran, and yes, sometimes I might say something that's wrong against Islam. And if I, I, I say it every time. If I do, let me know. Tell me. If not, then hey, take it for what it is. If you need me, I'll bring Quranic proof that says, hey, this is that. And if you can produce your proof, then please do that. But however, let's unite. Let's become one. There's one Islam. There's not many Islam. There is one Islam. When we say the Shahada, it's Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa Ashhadu anna Muhammadan abdu rasulullah. This means there's no god but Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger and slave of Allah. So we can't do other things that we want to do or say. We must do things that are coherent with Quran. We must do things coherent with authentic Hadith. So please, let's unite. Let's become one. And alhamdulillah, I'm talking with the group now. We're speaking about how we're going to unite locally. And we're talking about how we're going to go, you know, in the States and then internationally. Inshallah, we can get this done. One ummah. One ummah. One deen. One ummah. So inshallah, may Allah grant us peace. May Allah forgive us from all of our sins that we have done knowingly and unknowingly. May Allah help us in this world. May He make it easy for us. And may He save us from the torment of the hellfire. Ameen. So I leave you all with the same greetings of peace that I came with. Assalamu alaikum. Inshallah, I'll see you next time.